Hi, my name is Caleb Golden. I'm an independent author who specializes in the dark horror genre. Welcome to my channel. Today we're watching the 1986 horror film The Fly. Uh, this has been highly recommended for some time now. I do believe I saw this when I was really, really young, but I don't remember anything from it. Like literally the only thing I do remember from it is uh, like the lady that uh, Jeff Goldblum is with. She has this nightmare where she's given birth to his child and when the doctors like pull it out of her it's this like big fat disgusting maggot. But other than that I remember like literally nothing from this movie. Anyway with that said let's just get right into it. Gina Davis, you never really see her in anything anymore. At least I don't. I'm working on something that'll change the world and human life as we know it. Change it a lot or just a bit? You'll have to be more specific. What, do you want me to be specific here in this room with uh, half the scientific community of North America eavesdropping? Damn, they were both young as hell. So you could come back to my lab. Listen, I'll make a cappuccino. <laughs> That's like the worst pickup line ever. Yeah, Jeff Goldblum just doesn't do it for me. I'm sorry. Are you sick? <sighs> no, 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 I'm always like this. It's uh, motion sickness. When I was a kid, I uh, puked on my tricycle. Buddy, you are really not helping your case talking like this. This is it? It's uh, cleaner on the inside. Like, bitch, you followed this guy into this abandoned ass looking building. Like, if you get murdered, you deserved it. Dumb bitches always following guys into abandoned buildings. Can we talk about the mullet? Like, I'm glad some things died in the 80s. Oh, it's too late. You've already seen them. Can't let you leave here alive. <laughs> Like, that statement would be a lot less threatening if you weren't an awkward weirdo. <laughs> Hell, I'm one to talk. From one awkward weirdo to another. I call them telepods. So, uh, what do they do, the phone booths? Telepods. I need an object. Um... Oh, it's a teleporter. And, uh... Like, he gets in and does a fly, like, fly in with him. And that's how he gets fused to the damn thing. Because I've seen that referenced in, like, more stuff than I can even count. Okay. Here it goes. Okay. <laughs> Apparently the awkward, threatening pickup lines worked. God, I half expected him to sniff it. This dude is weird. Uh, Brundle, Seth? Uh, Brundle, Seth? God, that looks like a condom. I don't think I get it. What happened? Damn, she is dumb. Your stocking has just been teleported. Damn, that's a neat ass building. It's a joke. What? He's conning you. That's an old nightclub routine. Two cabinets. And you fell for it. Wait a minute. That was no nightclub. Are we having lunch? Listen, that was no nightclub routine. Like, is that like a real nightclub routine? Because I've never heard of it. I'm Stathis Barnes. I'm the editor of Particle Magazine. Uh, I can't with that damn mullet. He's not ready yet. Seems to work okay. No, something important's missing. A human test subject. Yeah, you can tell it's the 80s because this bitch writes for a magazine and can afford a place like this. What are you doing in my apartment? Just happened to be in the neighborhood. Felt a bit scummy. Uh, you guys dating or what? Otherwise, you seemed pretty cool with this guy just breaking into your house. I have to put this issue to bed. You want me to come back later and tuck you in? No. Key. I'll keep it. For old time's sake. 
Okay, I kind of hope he dies at some point. Where the hell did you just randomly get a baboon? <laughs> this fucker done broke into a zoo and stole the damn monkeys. I feel like that could have gone better. You know, animal cruelty aside, that fucking baboon was probably expensive. Why didn't it work? deal with the flesh. It only seems to work with inanimate objects, nothing that's living. Well, that's inconvenient. You know, a gentleman would have given her the pull-out couch. Just saying. Ooh. She wants her some. You're very cute. <laughs> uh, to each their own, I guess. Dead baboons make me so horny. Well, they seem to hit it off pretty quick. He thought of something, didn't he? Yeah, I thought we just did. Oh, don't you be wasting that perfectly good steak. Like, kill as many damn baboons as you want, but don't violate steak like that. Okay. Now try this. Damn it, this is making me hungry. this fucker. What are you doing here? I followed you. Psychology to dig in my ass. You stayed frontal all night. And what if she did? She's her own damn woman. Don't you get it? I am finally onto something that's big. Huge. Yeah? What? His cock? <laughs> How many damn baboons have you stolen, sir? Hey, it worked. Hey, what's this? Oh, yeah, from your editor. I'm sorry. Somebody slipped it under the door. Oh, no. What? Oh, that dickhead. He already published the damn thing, didn't he? Again, I like that building. I don't want you to disappear from my life. Well, then you shouldn't have yelled at me in public, buddy. Residue means your old boyfriend, doesn't it? Oh, he's gonna get drunk and put himself in the damn teleporter, isn't he? I didn't mean to kill your brother, but he didn't die in vain. If that's of any comfort, and... <laughs> it's not. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. Oh, this is going to be bad. So you've got to be naked to be teleported. Like, that seems like it'd be an inconvenience. You know, especially if this is meant to be a new form of travel. Okay, what the hell kind of mess have you made of yourself? This would be a very bad time for her to come back. Him butt-ass naked with a monkey in his lap. Okay, there it is. Well, 
what you're doing, just standing all alone in the dark like this. Show off. Like, was he on wires or was Jeff Goldblum really doing that? Like, this is kind of an older movie, so I could see him, like, actually having to train to do that. Okay, that's got to be a stunt double. I mean, are you just not going to acknowledge her at all? So I asked the computer if it had improved me, and it said it didn't know what I was talking about, and that's made me think very carefully about what I've been feeling and why, and I'm beginning to think that... That's a lot of damn sugar. Because mm, flies like sugar. I get it. ...to wax messianic, but uh, it may be true that the synchronicity of those two events might blur the resultant individual effect of either individually, but... Like, sir, why are you being so damn loud? Like, we in a restaurant. All I've done is say to the world, let's go, move, catch me if you can, waiter. Like, is that sugar or cocaine? Jesus. Hmm. The face and the mullet don't do it for me, but uh, the rest of it's pretty nice. Don't give me that born again teleportation rap. I told you I'm scared to do it. What do I have to say? I'm not going to do it. Sir, let go of her. She says she don't oh, want to do it. Drag, you know that? Well, that was uncalled for. Seth, you have to listen to me. You're afraid to dive into the plasma pool, aren't you? You're afraid to be destroyed and recreated, aren't you? I bet you think that you woke me up about the flesh, don't you? But you only know society's straight line about the flesh. Like, I liked you better when you were an awkward weirdo. <laughs> Jesus, that is 80s hair, if ever I did see it. I got a hundred bucks says I can beat either one. And I get to take the lady home for the night if I want. Do I look like a hooker to you? Hey, Tony. I mean, yeah, kinda. So are flies, like, supposed to be super strong? Like, I know ants are, but, uh, I really don't know, uh, too much about flies. Uh, what the hell is that? <laughs> well, I think it's safe to say Jeff Goldblum won that one. I can't make it. Oh, there's an elevator. Sir, she is clearly inebriated. Do not take advantage of her. Jeez, that kind of scared me. Are you some sort of magician? Only if you count this magic dick. You're going to like it. I don't want to! I'm afraid! Don't be afraid! No. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Oh, wow. Is uh, this what that's from? Because, like, I've heard that in a lot of stuff. Why'd you scare her up? I mean, I think that had more to do with you, buddy. You've got to get some help. I think you must be sick. You You're jealous! Inside voice, sir. Come here. Help! Sir. The wheel's off! I don't need you anymore. Oh, wait! Seth, please! Wait! Seth! Don't come back! Like, I do not envy empaths like her. Like, someone yells at me and calls me names. It's like, fuck you. Turn into a god-awful monstrosity. See if I care. Uh, what the fuck is that? Did you just pull out your tooth? What the fuck was that? Uh. <laughs> Wow. What's happening to me? Am I dying? You turning into a fly, buddy? Rundle, Seth. 
Give me a disc. Uh, I need first teleportation S. Brendan. Oh, is he eventually going to get to the point where he uh, transforms so much that the uh, computer doesn't recognize his voice? There it is. Like, now that I think about it, like, uh, what stops you from fusing with any germs inside the uh, teleporter? Like, there's no way anything exposed to the open air like that, like, even for a minute, would be uh, germ free. Where are you? Are you at home? Veronica, you don't know how right you were. I've gotten much, much worse. Okay, I'm interested to see uh, what he looks like now, because he just said it's been a couple weeks. <laughs> That's good makeup, though. Uh, the computer got confused. There weren't supposed to be two separate genetic patterns, and that it made it as being fly. We hadn't even been properly introduced. <laughs> He's taking this surprisingly well. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jeff. Ugh. I wouldn't be touching on him. Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh. I'm scared. Ugh, don't touch him. Nasty, no. Ugh. Like it's disgusting, but those are really good effects. Don't go back to it. That's it. Oh, I forgot about this dickhead. You say, if only I saw him. Show me. Tape him. Show me. Let me think about it. Like, I don't trust this fucker. Seth? No, no, up here. Oh. You got him pretty good at it, haven't I? Well, that looks like fun. I seem to be stricken by a disease with a purpose, wouldn't you say? I wonder how they did all this. Like, that looks really cool. He regurgitates on his food. It liquefies, and then he sucks it back up. Ready for a demonstration, kids? Here it goes. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, he responded a lot better than I did. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant with Seth's baby. Okay, so now I'm wondering... Uh... Like, if the maggot scene that I remember, was it her having a nightmare, or is, like, she actually gonna have a maggot baby, and, like, that's how the movie ends? Like, it seems like that would be, like, a nice ending for this movie, honestly. Yeah, it's coming out of, uh, I don't even think we're gonna have to go in. It's gonna be easy. Don't worry, honey. <laughs> no. Okay, so, uh, it's clearly not how we end the movie, then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was right. Uh, it was a nightmare. Like, I couldn't have been more than, like, four or five years old when I saw that. And for whatever reason, it's stuck with me all these years. Okay, so he's trying to get himself back to normal. I want a disc. Give me preliminary integration. Uh-huh. I figured that was going to happen. <laughs> Quit hitting that damn pipe, buddy. Redundant. <sighs> Artifacts of a bygone era. Of historical interest only. You just keeping all these damn body parts in your medicine cabinet? That seems unsanitary. I came to tell you. <laughs> I, I just... I wanted to see you before. So she ain't gonna tell him. Compromise. We can't trust the insect. God, looking at this dude's making me itchy. 
to go. <laughs> Let's do it now. Do you understand me? I don't want it in my body. <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. Now he knows. Or maybe he just saw them together and now he's pissed. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Like, abortion is still a touchy subject today. I'm, uh, I can only imagine how, uh, this went over in the 80s. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> that scared me. Okay, so I take it uh, he knows she's carrying his baby. His weird mutant fly baby. Okay, so is this dickhead actually going to turn out to be uh, an unlikely hero? Like, why wouldn't you have gotten the shotgun out before you walked into the apartment? Or is that Jeff Goldblum's shotgun? If so, it was very conveniently placed. Oh, fucking god damn it! Got me. Damn. Jesus. We come together there. You, me, and the baby. Together. Like, uh, God, that seems like it would fuck you up even more than the fly. We'll be the ultimate family. A family of joined together in one body like that just seems like incest but with extra steps but are you gonna be have to be a hell of a lot faster than that with that gun oh wow like, I'd seen that before, but I didn't know it was from this movie. Like, damn, that is really good makeup. Zap him. Like, I did not expect this guy to be the hero. Okay, so what is he now? Oh, it fused him with the damn telepod. Damn. Oh, honey, just put him out of his misery. You gotta do it. Aww. Almost got me tearing up over here. Okay. That was the fly. So that was pretty good. As far as horror movie movies go, this was pretty standard for 80s horror. Uh, first of all, plot-wise, this was pretty tame for a horror movie. But even though there, uh, there wasn't a lot of kills or suspenseful moments, I, uh... I never really felt bored at any point during the movie, so it had pretty good pacing.
Next, the makeup and practical effects were really, really good. Like if you've ever seen any of my other reviews, you already know I'm a sucker for good practical effects, because it's pretty much a lost art in this day and age. It got me good with a couple of the jump scares too, like I've got to admit. Like usually I'm pretty good at predicting jump scares, but uh, you know, not when they just come out of the blue like that. Like that ending was really good too. The way they ended it with, uh, you know, the fly recognizing he needs to die and he's just suffering and everything. Uh, I feel like that was a good way to end it. I almost, I was really close to tearing up when he actually grabbed the barrel of the gun and put it to his own head and like looked up at her with just, you know, that pleading look in his eyes. Like if I had to pick a favorite moment from this movie, that would be it for me. Would I watch it again? Maybe. Like this was good, but it's not something I'd get super duper excited over. Like if I saw it on TV or anything like that. But it wasn't a bad movie by any means. When I was looking this movie up, I did see that uh, it has at least one sequel. I don't know if it's any good or not though, and I really don't know anything about it, so uh, if it's something y'all think maybe I should watch at some point, let me know in the comments. Anyway, with all that said, all my links are down below. My third novel, The Settler's Sins Part 2, is available on Amazon now. Till next time, see you guys later.